the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles Macro here today back again jumping into Fishing Planet. So I'm here at Alberta Lake. It's a level 22 lake in Alberta, Canada, and it has some really great fishing. I've been grinding at Emerald Lake and I went to Florida. Florida's a good lake as well to farm, but I wanted to try some different lakes and I looked at the size of the fish. That's the first thing I was specking out and what the biggest weights get to. These Atlantic salmon are good catches. They get up to 33 pounds, but you average about 11, seven to 11, all right? And then these brook trouts, these burbots. Now, Emerald Lake has the best payout per pound but because the average walleye are much smaller, you can get bigger amounts and bigger wops. Let me show you. So these are some of the fish I've caught today and you catch them in a shorter time. I've been making about triple what I make at Emerald Lake in about the same amount of time because the fish are bigger, even though they're not as good per pound. 500 for this 12 pound lake trout, 569. All these 500s, you know, it'll add up. Not even half a day in game time, I filled up my net. My keep net is 200. I cashed out, made about 10. Now in the same net, I catch about 15 at Emerald Lake, but I got to fish all night. So let me show you. I bought like a level 30 ride. You don't need that though. But this one is a 9 to 24, so it handles them. This Bass Caster 7 foot, 10 inch. I just saved. I grinded at Emerald Lake and just saved and just leveled up, leveled up, leveled up and didn't buy any ride. Um, 22 pound reel, council of 3500S. I got the fluoro, 20 pound to match. This handles, but this level 24 Phoenix 12 will do just fine because it handles 5 to 19 and it's only 12. I just wanted to try out a casting rod. Now you can fish right off the pier. That's the best spot to fish. You also can come down here and fish for pike over this way. Thought about here, you just come over, face this way. Now I catch them out here as well. Um, I like to point at these two lit up fireplace looking like campfires and cast out that way. But the, the hot spot is right here. You aim kind of in this area, these trees over to the rocks. Really just focus right here at the trees. I got a medium spoon, three op. I'm gonna buy, now that I've saved some money, the bigger one, but any medium spoon will work. The red one works best for me. And just make sure you got a ride that can handle on average about 10 to 12 pound fish and up to 20. So you cast out here. It's very deep, but it seems like it's some like raised part in the middle the float will stop about halfway sometimes what i do when it's coming down i like to start stopping going have it set on speed two i stop and go it as it's going down then when it's about halfway i stop and go it i don't even let it sink all the way to the bottom every now and then i'll let it drop but if you just stop and go Sometimes I do a straight, you can even do straight reels. Straight reels actually work as well. Sometimes I straight reel for a moment and I stop and go let it float back down. And you'll get some perch right here too, trophy perch, but they don't make the big money. You'll get some uh, brown trout as well every now and then. I let it come in a little more. Ain't it around 100 feet because it's over whatever little hump, it'll drop. So sometimes I let it drop a little lower. You can let it drop and hit the bottom. That works as well. And then just kind of stop and go like that. Bam. Bam. This actually might be a perch. Nah, it's the Atlantic Salmon. Okay, that's a lake trout. You'll get lake trouts too, but even that, 356. We want that Atlantic Salmon. So we're gonna let it drop. And again, sometimes it sits in the middle like it's some little piece of land there or something. But it flows very slow, it's very deep. It sinks very slow, it's very deep, it's very deep. So this time I let it hit the bottom. 
And I'm going to stop and go. But I'm going to do like multi-turn stop and go so it raises up. Bam. Bam. Yeah, the last one I had fought me for about seven minutes. One of the last ones I caught. I thought it was going to be much bigger. I have caught a 20-pounder here. That 20-pounder had a real good payout. Look, 11 pound, 539. You do still want to pay attention to your active time on your weather forecast. I may fast forward it to noon, but you can fish all the way through the morning just to maximize your time here. But yeah, it didn't even take me half a day to fill up my net. Make a quick 10 and fast forward it. Got him. Got him. Come on. Come on. He acting like he a big boy. Without upgrading this ride, man, this would be like much, much harder. Because some of these joints get real big and they fight. And they fight. And I said, you get the Atlantic salmon, but you see, you still get a lot of lake trout too. But they both have very decent payouts. They have good payouts. They have good payouts. And especially the weight that you'll catch out here. So you can fill your net up over and over and over again. Lake trout. We got 12 pound lake trout. All right, bam. We gonna run through these real quick. Look at that, a seven pound Atlantic Salmon, 300. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Another lake trout, 13 pounds, 600. Come on. And again, using this technique with the medium spoon. And uh, stopping going at the speed two. Speed three works a little bit too. And even straight reel. I've got straight reels to work as well. See what we have here. Look at that 10 pound, 500. This one fighting a little bit too. And look at the time of day. <laughs> Just look at the time of day. It's only been two hours. And look at how we knocking these joints off. Well, three, because we, I think we start at five. But look at that. 12 pound to 575. By nine. 10 pound to 450. Barely nine o'clock, and we've <laughs> about filled the net up. Okay, nine pounder, 423. Okay, so I cashed in. I went to the next day, and I just want to show y'all out the gate. You'll get these sprinkled in there too. I wanted to end on this one, so we're going to show you the, the whole process once again. You cast out towards those trees. Medium spoon. Get that three oct, or if you're, when you're able, you know, you get the uh, the higher level, which would be your, uh, I think it's a five oct after this three oct, if I'm not mistaken. But this three oct works uh, just fine. Or anything that's to the level of this lake. Because it's a couple rides they sell at this lake that I showed early in the video. That will work fine as well. Alright. I was watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine too while I was doing this. <laughs> that's that's the little commentary that you hear. Doug Judy. Oh. Now check this one out. I, I wanted to end on this one because this boy was fighting. And I could tell that he was a little bigger than the average. I could tell he was a little big. I could feel it. And you'll catch these. You will catch these intermittently using this technique, man. And y'all make sure y'all let me know what you catch. Let me know what your biggest fish that you catch using this technique. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Share. I got more coming from other lakes. Um, and maybe even this lake. I may do one on the uh, pike that you can catch here. And I tried out a, a, another lake after this as well. So again, I try to get you the, the best techniques, the best lakes, the best way to make money and or XP. But yeah, this, this one was fighting. This one was fighting. He's giving me a little trouble. He was giving me a little trouble. As you see, the number kept going up and down. This mug is fighting.
Come on, come on. It made me have to bump my uh, tension up a little bit. I'm um, going around. You said it's at about six. Here we go. Come on in. This one ain't want to come in. Ooh, check that out. Personal record trophy late. Look at that. 1,226 pounds. 360 XP. You fish this lake and you keep catching these joints, man. You gonna make good money and you'll get through the next day really quickly. You can make a lot of money in a short amount of time here. So this is a good lake, man. I really, really like Alberta. I recommend going here when you're able to afford it. You will make your money back as long as you have a little bit of time to sit here and, and work that license that you have to buy. Because it costs a decent amount to get here. I think it's about a thousand a day once you get here. But you'll make that hand over fist real easy, all right? So, guys, hit me in the comment box. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you catch. Let me know the technique helps you, okay? Like this if it helps you. Like this if you like these hotspot videos that I make. And, um, again, share it so others can use these, man, because we do want to help other people be able to catch and, and build up the tackle, you know, uh, their bait, you know, their money, that XP, okay? So, like, subscribe, share. Leave me a comment. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Look, I had another little nibble right there. <laughs> Fishing Planet, we doing this, y'all. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game.